Welcome to Daily Success, where each day we discuss ideas, insights, and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself and to not only survive but thrive in the modern world. Hello, everyone. This is Parth, and welcome to the Wisdom Wednesday episode, where we dedicate a few moments towards learning new insights, ideas, and key life lessons. that help us develop our character and cultivate essential virtues to navigate the modern world and live an exceptional life meditate often on the interconnectedness and mutual interdependence of all things in the universe for in a sense all things are mutually woven together and therefore have an affinity for each other for one thing follows after another according to the tension of movement their sympathetic stirrings and the unity of all substance marcus aurelius meditations 6.38 it's always wise to zoom out and see this world and humanity as a whole the stoics believed in the concept of sympathia which essentially translated to the notion of a well integrated interconnected cosmos in which everything in the universe is part of a grander whole in this fast paced world filled with noise distractions and overwhelm it's easy to forget the notion of sympathia and get sidetracked it's easy to focus on our problems our life and just taking care of the people around us it's easy to surround ourselves with people who are like minded and the people that we care for it's easy to care only for our country and its development not caring about other countries of the world but the truth is that when others suffer we suffer when the world goes through pain whether it be due to a crisis or an injustice we go through that pain as well marcus referred to this when he wrote that what's bad for the hive is bad for the bee as well we are all connected one way or the other we have all witnessed this in action and continue to do so with the covid-19 pandemic the bottom line is that this world is an interconnected web of cause and effect and in such a world acting from ignorance or selfishness always leads to suffering for oneself and others hence the best and wisest course for us is to act from wisdom and selflessness by cultivating a sense of love and commitment to the common good I'm so happy and grateful to share with you that my new class Snapshot Meditations by Marcus Aurelius is available right now exclusively on Skillshare If you enjoy stoicism and philosophy I'm sure you'll love it Also I'm releasing a limited edition ebook based on the main ideas and my key takeaways from meditations you can find links to both the class as well as the ebook in the show notes i hope you'll check them out i hope today's episode added incredible value to you for more helpful resources on personal development philosophy and holistic success come visit my website parthsahani.com I wish you an amazing day.